I hear my grandparents.
Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning in prayer and ask that you bless everyone present at this commencement. We thank you for yet another beautiful May morning on our Wingate campus. We're so very grateful for our graduates and their families. While we may want to believe that we are shaping young people during their years at Wingate, we know deep down that that work is done by you, their parents, their grandparents, and other family members from a very early age. God, even though we seem to be coming out of the pandemic, we continue to face challenges. We thank you for giving us all the strength and patience to navigate many months online. Um, we could not have done that successfully without your hand touching our daily lives. Continue to provide us with the strength and grace to face any difficult days that lie ahead, and we know there will be some. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they embark on new beginnings. We ask that you, God, help them to apply what they've learned here to make our world a better place, a more loving place. We pray that you help these graduates stay true to their dream, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and love. We thank you for giving us the past four years with these special young men and women. Although they're leaving our campus, we know that they will remain in our hearts and a much loved part of the Winget family. We ask that the relationship that we have created here remains strong despite any distance. Finally, we pray for peace in our world. We pray all of this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. Good morning. It is once again a distinct pleasure of mine to welcome each of you to these commencement exercises on behalf of the Wingate Board of Trustees. Someone else was supposed to do this, but the chair could not be here. The vice chair had a previous commitment. The pinch hitter was unavailable, and the stand-in had a cramp in the toe. Please do not let the fact that the board chair is not here and that I am dampen your enthusiasm for today's events or cause you to doubt the sincerity of this welcome. There is one important concept I want to leave you with this morning, and it's best illustrated by the following story. The main protagonist in this story is Bill and his wife is Becky. Bill con became concerned that Becky was losing her hearing. And by chance, he had a neighbor who was an audiologist and gave him the following advice. Find an opportunity where she's doing, doing some task that doesn't permit her to move, and in a normal speaking voice, ask a question. If you don't get a response, move closer and repeat the question. Keep getting closer until you get a response. 
A few nights later, Becky was preparing dinner. And so from 25 feet away, Bill asked, what's for dinner? Silence. So from 18 feet away, the question was repeated. Becky, what's for dinner? Silence. So from 12 feet away, Becky, what's for dinner? This time, he got an answer. Bill, for the third time, it's chicken. <laughs> the point illustrated here in this little drama was impressed upon me by a psychologist many years ago. What most annoys us in other people is our own shortcomings. But this shouldn't surprise any of us. For almost 2,000 years ago, someone said something to this effect. First, remove the plank from your own eye so that you can better remove the splinter from your brother's eye. May you be granted God's speed and God's grace as you enter the next phase of your life's journey. Thank you. Good morning. All of us at Wingate are so pleased to celebrate with our graduates and to share this moment with family and friends. It is both an honor and a privilege. At yesterday's pinning ceremony for our graduating nurses, a nursing alumna encouraged our new graduates to regularly remind themselves why they wanted to be a nurse in the first place. I thought it was good advice, and when I look out at our graduates this morning, it is a lovely reminder for me why I decided to work in higher education. When you began your studies at Wingate, you embarked on a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. You came to us with borrowed faith and borrowed ideas about the world and your place in it. Like the water from our wellspring that transformed this town and this university, we hope that this place, its people and its education was the wellspring that, trans that transformed you into a better version of yourself. College is a rite of passage of sorts, similar to those that have ensured the sustainability of civilizations throughout centuries that prepare young women and men to take their place in civil society. As such, I hope your experience here did not leave you feeling entitled, but instead inspired. Inspires you to find your place in the world and empowers you to assume your role in it. Your experience at Wingate University has been woven with the ideals on our seal, faith, knowledge, service. Your faith should encompass notions of virtue, ethics, wisdom, trust, and respect. Your quest for knowledge hopefully fed your curiosity, led to your passions, and set you on a never-ending path in the pursuit of discovery. Service is perhaps our most important ideal. Your education here hopefully encouraged you to contribute your talents, knowledge, and passion to serve others in ways you find both meaningful and invigorating. We want you to find your role in the common good for all humankind. The purpose of higher education at Wingate is a pursuit of knowledge that informs and integrates our faith and ultimately leads us to lives of service. We believe you are all well prepared for your next chapter. Congratulations, graduates. So very happy for you and your families on this occasion. So we begin this morning by recognizing and honoring difference makers. Some students, some graduates, our honorary doctoral recipient, and our commencement speaker. 
first, I would like to announce our H.K. Helms Award winners. The honor is presented annually to the graduating seniors achieving the highest scholastic average. This year, seven students in our graduating class achieved a perfect 4.0 grade point average. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all names are called. And when you process across the stage, we will award you one of these lovely bowls to my left. Felix Griba. <laughs> Casey Mitchell. <laughs> Logan Murphy. <laughs> Noah Richards. Emily Roach, Jonas Sorensen, and Danielle Toman. Well done. Thank you all very much. For our next five awards, Please stand as I call your name so that we can show our appreciation with applause for your honor. And you will also receive your award when you cross the stage. First, the C.C. Burris Award is presented annually and a community leader. The 2022 recipient of the Bud E. and Ethel K. Smith Award is Carla Zulema Gomez Laguna. Well done. The Fred H. Allen Award is presented annually to the graduating senior judged to have exhibited outstanding Christian leadership and to have been involved in significant Christian service projects. Today's honoree is a religious studies major and a triple minor in biology, mathematics, and women's studies. She was involved in the university's honors program, Alpha Z Delta Sorority, and co-president of Interfaith Leaders. After graduation, she plans to attend the University of Chicago Divinity School to pursue her master's in religion. After that, she plans to earn her PhD with the hope of one day becoming a religion professor. Her advisor said this student has excelled at Winget through her academic performance in the religion department and through her leadership of interfaith programming at the university. Working with this type of student is such a joy as she constantly gives her best and challenges herself to learn and grow. Her pursuit of faith, knowledge, and service make her the ideal candidate for this award. The 22 recipient of the Fred H. Allen Award is Allison Faith Barbie. The Jerry and Alice Surratt Award is presented annually to the graduating senior who has made the most significant contributions in the area, area of international education through scholarship and service. This year's award recipient majored in finance and minored in Spanish, who's a member of the men's soccer team and was a campus recreation facility supervisor. His academic advisor, Dr. Lisa Swartz, said the student was a joy to have in class. Having arrived from Denmark, he was already bilingual and did not need to take any additional foreign language courses, yet chose to minor in Spanish. In addition to being a good student, he was an outstanding and accomplished soccer player. Congratulations on a, well, on a job well done. The 22 recipient of the Jerry and Alice Surratt Award is Soren Nygaard. Congratulations. The A.F. Hendricks Award is presented annually to the graduating senior man who represents the ideals of scholarship, leadership, and service. This honoree, this honoree 
is a music performance major and president of Windpipes, Wingate's a cappella group. His academic advisor, Dr. Jennifer Huff, said it was a pleasure to teach this student for the last four years. She noted this person was dedicated to the music department and the university at large, as evidenced by his work on campus. She said his leadership in the music department has been invaluable. The 22 recipient of the A.F. Hendricks Award is Rashawn Lakeith Elliott. Congratulations to you all. When we choose to award an honorary degree, we are holding up individuals as examples for our graduates and our community. Examples of who we want our graduates to become. People whose lives model significance, whose life's work embody a commitment to faith, to knowledge, and to service. Today, we celebrate an exemplary colleague whose life of service to his faith, to his country, to his community, to higher education, and to Wingate University as an inspiration for us all. Will the provost please escort Joe Hunter to the podium? Joseph Joe C. Hunter is an honorary lifetime trustee of Wingate University. As an avid champion of small private colleges and universities in North Carolina, Joe began working with the Cannon Charitable Interests more than 35 years ago. He currently serves as trustee and secretary for the Charles A. Cannon Charitable Trust and the Miriam and Robert Hayes Charitable Trust. During Joe's tenure, the trust have provided more than $20 million in grants to our university. Executive Director of the Cannon Foundation, Suzanne Bostic Philman, describes Joe this way a gentleman in every sense of the word. Suzanne notes Joe's love of cheeseburgers and fries and said that Joe can be counted on to order the comfort food on staff outings, thereby making it okay for everybody else to get the cheeseburger too. And don't take his laid back, quiet style, she says, in the meeting room as a passive participant. Joe listens and speaks when necessary with an eager idea and always at the very top of his game. In addition to championing education, Joe has served his community in a myriad of ways. He is a member of All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, where he has served as senior warden and chaired multiple committees. He's a past president of the Concord Rotary Club and Habitat for Humanity of Cabarrus County. He even took up ballroom dancing to participate in Cabarrus County's Dancing for the Arts fundraiser in 2017 to benefit the local arts council. Joe is an active member of the Marine Corps League and makes weekly deliveries for Meals on Wheels. For a life lived in the service of others, it is my privilege to present to you today the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters. Thank you, Joe. Just let me say one thing. It's an honor beyond anything to have represented this school and to get this honorary degree beyond anything that I can tell you.
on page seven of today's commencement program, you have the biography of our speaker, Girls on the Run founder, Molly Barker. Some of you in the crowd may have participated in this program as a child or have volunteered as a coach over the years. With a background in social work, counseling, and teaching, Molly founded the nonprofit Girls on the Run with an initial group of 13 girls at Charlotte Country Day School. Since 1996, Girls on the Run has grown to include groups in 200 plus cities across every state in the country and help more than 2.1 million girls unleash their potential. A friend of Molly's shared that she's always been ahead of her time with her mission to motivate people to, quote, poke the bear, to go against the status quo. Her friend also shared she's fond of saying to find your kernel of your being, your most true self. As someone who marches to the beat of her own drum, Molly encourages people to engage in compassionate listening, to ask hard questions of themselves, and to realize their potential to change the world. Fortunately for us, Molly recently moved back to Charlotte after living for a couple of years in Texas where she took what she calls her adult gap year. She loves biking, it's where she finds her peace, and her best friend and driving buddy is her beloved dog, TJ. Please join me in welcoming Molly Barker for our commencement address. I had no idea what they were gonna say about me, and that's like the best bio because it included my dog. He is my best friend, and I see we have a dog in our company today, and it just makes me feel all warm and safe. Um, good morning. So y'all have almost made it. A lot could happen between now and you're walking across this stage. It's hard to believe that after almost two years of isolation, computer screens and masks, we'd be here together in person. You've been through a lot to make this happen for yourselves and that deserves some serious respect. Congratulations. I'd also like to give a shout out to President Brown, Provost Frederick, Trustee Patterson, the faculty, admin, and board for all you do to make this university happen. Thank you for inviting me to be here today. And for those of you who still aren't sure about who I am, I'll remind you. My name is Molly Barker, and I'm the founder of Girls on the Run International. I founded the Running and Life Skills Program for third to eighth grade girls in 1996, or as most of the girls in the program would say, the late 1900s. <laughs> Which reminds me of Madison, a fourth grader in Cincinnati, who for Women's History Month beautifully penned my entire life into a 300 word essay the last sentence of which read, and I'm happy to share that Ms. Barker is still alive. <laughs> but I digress. We need to get to the heart of the matter, and so I'd like to start with two stories. Think of them as flip sides of the same coin. Side one, several years ago, I was speaking to a group of middle school girls in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I asked the girls this question. What is the thing you and you alone bring in, into the world? That thing that is uniquely yours and yours alone. After about 10 brilliant words had been tossed into the room, a very smart looking human with hot pink eyeglasses, bedazzled jeans, and a t-shirt with the word fierce on it, raised their hand. Essence, they shouted. The word you're looking for is essence. And I'll be darned, that was the word I was looking for to describe that thing that is uniquely you. That's it, I shouted back. And as I walked closer to high five them, I asked, so what's your name? They smiled and said, Essence. <laughs> My name is Essence. Okay, so hold on to that story. We'll come back to it in a minute. Side two of our coin takes place in my hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. A group of girls on the run girls had invited me 
the Not Dead founder, to one of their practices, an opportunity I will always take if offered. As I approached the group, I noticed one girl, I later learned her name was Nicole, looking me up and down. Hi, I said. Nicole, clearly a leader of the group, cocked her hip, put her hands on each one, and then said quite boldly, are you Molly Barker, the founder of Girls on the Run? Yes, why yes I am. Nicole continued, well girl, you don't look anything like your pictures. And I'm not sure, I think I might have smiled or whatever, but then she said, but that's okay, we learned last week in lesson 18 that they Photoshop all those pictures anyway. <laughs> and bam, there it is, the flip side of the coin. On the one side of this human experience is our essence, the unique us, the us that is perfectly ourselves. And on the other side is this deep dire desire for belonging so much that we literally and metaphorically Photoshop, filter, and cover up who we really are to fit in, to be pretty or beautiful, rich or buff, athletic or successful, to be all the things society tells us we should be instead of who we really are. And for some in American society, covering up who they are isn't just about fitting in or that sense of belonging. It's about finding housing, getting employed, or even just being physically safe. I first became aware of this tension between being oneself and hiding oneself when my mom got sober. The year was 1970. To provide some context, the Supreme Court had only just four years earlier issued a landmark ruling allowing women to use contraception. Women still couldn't get a credit card, and they could be fired for getting pregnant. My mom, like so many others during the late 60s and early 70s, had simply reached her breaking point, sick and tired of trying to squeeze the essence of who she was into the white Southern purity narrative. For her and so many women of her generation, she hit rock, rock bottom, realizing that alcohol was just the coping mechanism, a way to quiet the boldness of who she was and all that noise of conformity. She quit smoking, quit drinking, finished college, started working full time, got divorced, practiced yoga, meditated, wrote award-winning poetry, wore whatever the heck she wanted to wear, cut her hair to an inch or two above her scalp, and started running, which, might I add, was in and all by itself a radical act for women at that time. Four years later, in 1974, somewhere around my 14th birthday, my mom asked me if I'd like to run with her, and I said, yeah, I'd like to do that. And it was during those morning runs with my mom where I too discovered the true essence of who I am. That time before sunrise, the birds just awakening as both my mother and I did to our own wholeness. There on the streets, our footsteps and breath in unison with one another. And this is where the story plot thickens. I told myself I would never drink like my mother did. But when I took that first drink at age 14 at my friend Beth's house, I felt the intoxication of fitting in, being seen, being popular. And just as my mother had done for so many years, the essence of me slowly dimmed as I squeezed myself into the tiny little societal boxes prescri prescribed for perfect girls like me. Eventually, I hit bottom. On July 7, 1993, while out on a run, a thunderstorm raging all around me, I broke into a thousand little pieces. And just like my mom had done many years before, had an epiphany, realized that for 32 years of my life, I'd been allowing other people to define the essence of me, and that it was time for me to write that story for myself instead. Three years later, I started Girls on the Run with 13 girls in Charlotte, North Carolina. My vision then, and its vision now, is to provide girls with the tools to write their own stories, live fierce, bold, and authentic lives, to recognize and activate their limitless potential. The program has served over 2.25 million girls and continues to provide safe and brave spaces for girls to be and express themselves. I've met hundreds, maybe thousands of girls over the last 26 years, and every encounter teaches me something 
about this tension we all feel between being our true selves and trying to fit in. And here are seven things I've learned as the Not Dead founder of Girls on the Run International. One, several years back, I was attending a Girls on the Run 5K. The last finisher to complete the 5K and I were walking toward the refreshment area together. Her name was Catherine. So how did it go today, Catherine, I asked her. How'd you feel? She looked up at me, <laughs> rolled her eyes and said, seriously, I was last. <laughs> I saw that, I said. We walked for a few steps in silence, and then she said, but I learned something very important about myself today. What did you learn, I asked. I learned that I'm very, very, very bad at running. So bad, in fact, that I probably will never run another step ever again in my entire lifetime. Okay, I said, thinking to myself, not quite the goal we had in mind for girls on the run participants. And then she continued, I also learned that I am a really, really good walker, and I can do that for the rest of my life. We got some ice cream and fruit, laughed out loud, and talked about growing up, feeling good, and starting a program called Girls on the Walk. And my takeaway from, this, from that is this. Sometimes in all that tension between trying to figure out what is really us and what is us just trying to fit into the boxes, we have to step outside our comfort zone and do things that show us what we are by showing us what we are not, like our friend, friend Catherine did. Two, or that time during a girls on the run season, one of our girls lost her mom to breast cancer and her dad told her he didn't have time to bring her to girls on the run anymore, but she insisted anyway. And when she got there, she cried and cried and cried in front of us and we skipped the workout for that day to mourn with her. The lesson being that sometimes being ourselves means being vulnerable and crying in front of people, letting them love us in our big sloppy sad tears. Three, each season the girls in the program complete a community impact project. This particular group decided to create holiday greeting cards for the people living in the retirement community across the street from the school. After loading up some construction paper with puffy glue, sequins, paint, and yarn, we sat down to marvel at our cards before taking them across the street. Flipping through, I finally came to Jade's card, and on the cover was a beautiful angel with the words, Happy Holidays, written across the top. And when I opened the card, remember this card is for someone at a retirement community, Jade had written the words, May you rest in peace. This was one of those moments as a coach, and you'll have lots of these if you choose to be a parent also, where I wanted to laugh out loud, but decided not to because Jade had put her best self forward with this card and there was no way I was going to crush that. We took the card and the person who got it laughed and laughed and laughed and thought it was the best thing she'd ever seen. The takeaway, usually, and I wanna stress usually because it doesn't always happen, when our heart is in the right place and we are bringing our authentic selves forward to a project, people really appreciate that, even if the messaging is a little bit off. Four, that time my daughter, who if I'm really honest with you, never really liked girls on the run that much, decided that she was just too tired during the big season ending 5K and just laid down in the middle of the road at Martin Luther King Boulevard and Moorhead Street in Charlotte. As a side note, it's amazing how a 40 pound human can suddenly weigh 250 pounds when they are channeling a sack of potatoes. <laughs> we decided as a team that it was A-OK -okay if she needed to rest and so everyone else just ran around her. Eventually she finished. The message of course is that being yourself can be hard sometimes and self-care matters. I didn't appreciate this when I was young like you, but now I do taking time to rest, sleep, nourish yourself, surround yourself with positive people, let people cook for you. These things fuel you up and make you more available to bring your whole self forward the next time you are needed. Five, remembering Victoria, who somehow magically had a dragonfly land on her arm during a Girls on the Run 5K, 
and how she decided that finishing the race with the dragonfly on her arm was way more important than running the race, even though she was the fastest runner on our team and had the potential of winning the whole thing. Slowing to a baby, stroll, baby step stroll, she eventually completed the three mile course in about two hours with the dragonfly still on her arm. The smile on her face was bigger than California and her teammates thought this speech was truly amazing. The takeaways you can well imagine is this. Sometimes in the middle of doing something that will bring you lots of big awards and recognition, you will discover something that actually brings you joy. So do that, the thing that brings you joy because that's where your real self lives. Six, or that time I was visiting with a group of girls in Burlington, Vermont, when right smack in the middle of my talk, eight-year-old Sarah shouted out to the entire group of about 30 girls because she just could no longer contain this information that she could, in fact, communicate with squirrels. I sat there for a moment, unsure of where this heartfelt revelation was taking us when Amber, another third grader at the event, shouted, seriously, that's amazing. How do you do that? And Sarah told us. And what I learned from this, we all have superpowers. And sometimes those superpowers will seem weird to other people. And sometimes they will be celebrated. But whatever yours are, use them. Because like the essence that is you, they are uniquely yours. And you don't want your superpowers to go to waste. Seven. And that time when Carolyn fell down during the Girls on the Run 5K in Chicago and Nakia ran over to help her. And instead of continuing to run the event and maybe even win it, Nakia walked with Carolyn the whole way instead. And the lesson, our true nature, the true nature of our essence is to help others when they are hurt or hungry or in need of something. At the core of all essence lies compassion and love but sadly, compassion and love sometimes get covered up by competition, fear, and separation. But the truth is, love is what we bring into the world, and hate is what we are taught. I want to thank you for our time together, and as with most graduation speeches, the likelihood of your remembering anything I just said is pretty slim. So if you're gonna remember anything, let it be the words of my son James, who attended every Girls on the Run with me until he was eight years old, and at the time of this telling was eight years old, when comforting the goalie on his soccer team who had let a goal pass, James said, it's okay, Richard. I promise it's going to be okay. We all make mistakes. And just remember this, man. You're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> Thank you. Joyful story.
Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Liberal Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing please stand and approach the platform. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I present the following candidates who have completed the requirements for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Liberal Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Haley Adams. Caitlin Elizabeth Agger. Andrew Zachary Allen. Lee Michael Anderson. Garrett Clark Allen, cum laude. Andy Alexi Alvarado Bermudez. James Layton Anderson, cum laude. Hannah Marie Andrew, cum laude. Nikki Nicole Apostolou, summa cum laude with university honors. Catherine Arias Mandujano. Justin Glenn Armwood. <laughs> Catherine Marichale Artika Banegas. <laughs> Taylor Caroline Austin. Cynthia Paola Ayala. Sadiq Ayubi. Rania Mazin Badran. Abigail Nicole Baker. Brian Matthew Balish. Ian Shungwei Buranik. Allison Faith Barbie, summa cum laude, with University Honors, Fred H. Allen Award. <laughs> 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 
Osvaldo Barcenas Oviedo, magna cum laude. Hannah Marie Barnett, cum laude. Kirsten Lee Baucom, magna cum laude. Carrie Lynn Baumgardner, cum laude. Sydney Lane Beck, cum laude. Melina Felice Begley. Chase Dixon Baylor. Amy Leanne Benton. Tanner Reed Benton. Julia Berardelli, summa cum laude. Brianna C. Bergamini, cum laude. Brandy Leanne Birchmore. Rayanna Kinley Black, cum laude. Reese Gabrielle Blackley, cum laude. Anna Elise Blackwelder, magna cum laude. Spencer Austin Blair. Austin Blake. Jackson Forrest Boatwright. Zion Elijah Boger. Good luck with that, brother. I can't follow that. Yeah. Noah James Bowles. Chase Michael Bolenbecker. <laughs> Carolyn Elizabeth Burroughs. Zinni Botha, magna cum laude, with university honors. Isaac Davin Bracey. Sarith Kaur Briar. Cassidy Kendall Braver. Daniel Arthur Brizida, magna cum laude. Lavanda Jaylana Briggs. Jordan Garnett Bromfield, magna cum laude. Dylan Scott Brooks. Tanner Phillip Brooks, cum laude. Sierra Brown. Yeah. 
Macy Catherine Brumley, cum laude. Courtney Elizabeth Buckingham. Emma Burkhart. Sarah Catherine Burr, magna cum laude. Dominic Joseph Byers, magna cum laude. Zachary Noah Calarco. Caitlin Blake Campbell, cum laude. Jenna Nicole Carpentier. Courtney Marie Caro. July Brian Carson. Tyler Isaac Castle. Carly Savannah Cavaco. Anthony Ceballos. Grayson Douglas Chapman. Madeline Elise Cherry. Andrew Gehrig Christopher. Cassidy Celine Chooks. Camilla Chacha Cum Laude. Richard Joseph Clark Jr. Magna Cum Laude. Corinne Amelia Clevenger, magna cum laude, with university honors. Maya Adriana Coleman. Abigail Ruth Connor. Connor Michael Cook, cum laude. Sierra Ladoris Cooper. Jonathan Cornejo, Cornejo. Drew J. Cottrell. Cindy Karina Cruz Hurtado. Andrew Noel Daffer. Huion Dang. Victoria S. Davenport. Rodney Deshawn Davis. Kaylee Madison Dellinger, cum laude. McKenna Grace DeLong, magna cum laude.
Samaya, Laureen, De Silva, Leon Guerrero, cum laude. Brianna, Jeanette, Dibble, magna cum laude. Sydney Dinkins, cum laude, with university honors. Daytuan Alonzo Drayton. Ava Lorraine Duncan, magna cum laude. Sarah Grace Durant, magna cum laude. Jarrett James Dutton, magna cum laude. Casey Lorraine Eastland. Donovan Damar Eadlin. Jaquan Xavian Devante Edwards. <laughs> Rebecca Sue Edwards. Riley Chase Edwards. Rashawn Lakeith Elliott, AAF Hendricks Award recipient. <laughs> Michael Aaron Elmore. Lauren Elizabeth Emerson. Gabriela Anais Irazo Jimenez, cum laude. Jose Estevez Nolasco, magna cum laude. Alexis K. Faulkner, magna cum laude. Jessica Lee Fern. Samuel Feathers. Alexandra Guadalupe Ferretti's Torres, magna cum laude, with university honors. Juliana M. Fiorilli. Abigail Lynn Fisher. Colin Fleming. Jacob Monroe Flowers. Kristen Lee Fox, summa cum laude. Reagan Alexandra Frick, cum laude. Brandy Fuentes Delgado with university honors. Kylie Elizabeth Fuller, cum laude. Eleni Page Galanis.
Bernice Galarza Vasquez. Cameron Paige Gallagher. Ashley Brienne Garcia de Jesus. Jacob Tanner Gary Cum Laude. Jenna Blake Garner. Casey Elizabeth Gavings. Kaylin Paige Galinas. Jalen Christopher Gardner. Ashanti Imani Glass. Magna Cum Laude. Carla Zulema Gomez Laguna with University Honors, Bud E. Smith and Ethel K. Smith Award recipient. Juan Gregorio Gonzalez Mendoza. Kaya Monet Goodman. Shelby Gordon. Kiana Gorman. Madison Ann Gorman. Emily Catherine Grauman. Abigail May Gravely. Felix Kento Grieb, summa cum laude, HK Helms Award recipient. Cassidy Leanne Griffin. Aaron Hope Griffin, magna cum laude, with University Honors, C.C. Burris Award recipient. Way to go, Aaron. Krista Griffith. Adriana Grunero. Samuel Enrique Guillorme Gonzalez. Dylan Zabrine Hagen. Abigail Joy Haynes, summa cum laude. Madison Lacey Hart. Sarah Gabriella Alejandra Hartman. Kirsten Lynn Hartzell. Connor Stephen Harvey, cum laude. <laughs> Haley Jade Hayes Barubi with University Honors.
Brian, uh, Bryn, Abigail, Heath. Mitchell, James, Headstrom, Magna Cum Laude. Caroline, May, Hefner. Alexis Marie Helfrich. Darby McCall Helms, magna cum laude. Dominique Kawan Helms, magna cum laude. Zeely Claire Helms, summa cum laude. Elijah Ray Henderson. Chandler Elizabeth Hendricks. Jocelyn Hernandez Fino, magna cum laude with university honors. Nelly Herrera Hernandez. Zach Hires. Summa cum laude. Emily Inez Hildebrand. McKenna M. Hill. Lauren Lanice Hood. Garrett James Horn. <laughs> Jordan Graham Howard. Jacob Ford Huber, magna cum laude. Christopher Hunter. Eileen May Hurley, magna cum laude. Daniel Ibarra. Ilana K. Ingram. Martha Erlinda Izaguirre. Anaya N. Jackson. Cameron Jamil Jackson. Destiny Jackson, magna cum laude with university honors. Ladeja Leanne Jenkins. Abigail Rose Jeske, magna cum laude. Austin Gregory Johnson, magna cum laude. Reagan Camille Johnson. Damique Shantiera Jones. Ethan Robert Jones. Grant Ellington Jordan, cum laude. 
Alexander Mitchell Kale. Paige Elizabeth Kamer. Taylor Alyssa Knipe, summa cum laude with university honors. Shannon Kathleen Kasprak. Anastasia Margaret Key, summa cum laude. Tess Susanna Kiesler. Eric Lewis Kidd, summa cum laude. Brittany Klaus, magna cum laude. James Greg Kotkamp. Rachel Marie Lon Krieger. Daniel Sebastian Cooper, magna cum laude. Molly Kristen Lambalot. Aliyah Faye Last, summa cum laude, with university honors. Caitlin Ashley Laura. Allison Marie Laws, cum laude. Parker DeWitt Ledford. Emily May Luzik. <laughs> Micaiah Jacqueline Lewis. <laughs> Kaylin Denae Lilly. Harley Nicole Linton. Jasmine Scott Little. Isabella Yui, summa cum laude, with university honors. Abigail Danica Logan. Andrew Jacob Lowmuller. Jalen Karan Long. Alexis Lopez Mota, cum laude. Daniel John Lohman. Brandon Liu, magna cum laude. Ileana Brooke Maloney, cum laude. Lila Manigault, magna cum laude. Omar Marbin Figueroa. Haley Rain Marsden. Graham Martin, summa cum laude. Megan Kathleen Martin.
Daisy Noemi Martinez Flores. Garrett Russell Massengill. Merv T. Massey, that's the man. Merv T. Massey. William Edward Massey. Madison Gabriel Metaxas Cum Laude. Grace C. Matthew with University Honors. Madison Bailey Matlock. Luis Santiago Matute. Alexis Lynn McBurney, cum laude. Haley Paige McCarty, magna cum laude. Riley Annette McClung, cum laude. Sarah Caitlin McClure. Brody Shane McCullough, cum laude. Madison McGarrigal, magna cum laude. Cassidy Lane McGee. Taylor Simone McGlone. Kevin Thomas McLaughlin. Samuel Thomas Mears. Janet Medellin Tapia, magna cum laude. John Yates Medlin. Elijah Monte Jabri Meeks. Lester Armando Mejia Gomez, magna cum laude, with university honors. Kevin Mendieta Quitiero, cum laude. Ashley Janine Miller, magna cum laude. Logan Daniel Miller. Gabriella Amanda Mills. Anna Miram, summa cum laude. Casey Andrew Mitchell, summa cum laude, H.K. Helms Award recipient. I got you. Well done, sir. Madison Rose Moffitt. Karen Joanna Molina. Ashley Margaret Monahan. Taylor Bradford Montgomery, cum laude. Yeah. 
Rachel Lee Moon. Troy Moore. Ashley Nicole Moran, magna cum laude. Gracie Marie, summa cum laude, with university honors. Jacob Hunter Taylor Morse. David Morton. Taylor Smith Morton. Megan Elise Motzinger. Emily Faith Mullis. Ibram Mungai. Logan Raquel Murphy, summa cum laude, H.K. Helms Award recipient. Allie Elizabeth Nethery, magna cum laude. Peter Haywood Newton, magna cum laude. Trang Wynn. Jamie Angeline Nikonowitz, magna cum laude, with university honors. Annie Sophie Lindblad Nissen, cum laude. Soren Nygaard, Jerry and Alice Surratt Award recipient. Norlin Ochoa. Susan Olerich. Serena Olerich. Michaela Rain O'Malley, cum laude. Melanie Ann Oriana, magna cum laude. Alex Xavier Otero. Gaston Wade Uten, magna cum laude. Melanie Jordan Page, magna cum laude. Natea Janae Paisley. Claire Hogan Patrick. Isabella Maria Pellet. Jordan Douglas Pendley. Niger Peoples.
Corral Perez. Natalie Giselle Perez Alvarado. Caroline Jane Peters. Jong Fan. Hannah Noel Piper. Tori Savannah Pope. Kaylin Amari Prayer. Brianna Lee Presley. Ryan Henry Rabelais, cum laude. Andrew William Rape. Ian Andrew Reitz. James Patrick Rindel, magna cum laude. Deborah Ann Rhodes. Jameson Alexander Rich, summa cum laude. Noah Alexander Richards, summa cum laude, H.K. Helms Award recipient. <laughs> Indiria Desiree Richardson. Kaylee Alyssa Richardson with University Honors. Hunter Andrew Regal. Tyler Lawrence Montre Riley. Emily Nicole Roach, summa cum laude, H.K. Helms Award recipient. Congratulations. Great job. Kenneth Caleb Robinson. Justin Michael Rose, magna cum laude. Olivia Lynn Roswick, magna cum laude. Rebecca Marie Ruiz. Cameron Brooke. Rushing, cum laude. Brianna Nicole Russell. Gladys Ruto. Abigail Salazar Arias. Ayana Jishe Salters. Fernanda Sabrina Sandoval Meraz.
Ibrahim Sangari. Grace Sasco, magna cum laude, with university honors. Charity Marie Schuyler. Nina Amelia Sen, cum laude. Jayla Monet Setzer. Rama Shamaya. Shannon A. Shell, magna cum laude. Morgan Tate Shepherd. Patrick Shepard. Marcellus Xavier Simmons. Carson Wayne Simpson. Taylor Ashley Sly. Ricky Elijah Smith. Jonas Sorensen, summa cum laude, HK Helms Award recipient. Marco Antonio Solana Luna, magna cum laude. Safiatu Soare. <laughs> Damani Jalen Spencer. <laughs> Juliana Brianna Staples. Kayla Ann Steinkraus. Ronan Paulson Stenstrom. Juliana Noel Sterling. Metahan. Talane Sumer. Max Anders Lennart Sundberg. Evan Devon Surgeon. William Braxton Sutherland. Jordan Blake Sutton. Calais John Svensson. Alexandra Danielle Sweat. Savannah Swickard, magna cum laude. Ashley Lauren Terry, magna cum laude. Morgan Nicole Thomas. Ashley Caitlin Thompson, cum laude. 
Joshua Mason Tiller. Justin Daniel Todd, summa cum laude. Danielle Toman, summa cum laude, with University Honors, H.K. Helms Award recipient. Alexis Louise Torres. Mantinen Torre. Alexis Mary Toe. Darby Taylor Trotz. Selena Tran. Tommy Lee Tran, summa cum laude. Rita Itzel Tronco Gonzalez. Mary Claire Elizabeth Troy. Luke Scott Tucker, summa cum laude. Jacob Christopher Tyndale. Alexandra Hope Underwood, magna cum laude. Haley Savannah Underwood. Abby Elise Vale. Lisbeth Valdepina Sanchez. Othaniel Omar Valentin. Alice. Van Staldenein. Jenny Vega Pagan. Axel Daniel Velazquez. Mason Almond Verco. Cum laude. William Charles Vigors III, cum laude. Joni Elizabeth Wagoner, magna cum laude. Vincent Charles Walden. Sammy Joe Walker. Meredith Lee Waller. Caitlin Leia Walters. Irene Yu Wong, magna cum laude. Jonathan Porter Washburn, magna cum laude. Jada McKenzie Washington. John Garrett Waters. Jacqueline Noel Watson.
Darius Cordell Weathers. Alexander Steven Weimer, magna cum laude. Christopher James Wyant. Aaron Louise Wally. Daniel Bartholomew White. Lauren Nicole Whitley. Andrew Nash Wiles. Braden Charles Willett, cum laude. Hannah Taylor Williams, cum laude. Miss Jasmier Williams. Logan John Williams, magna cum laude. Mayola Shapri Willis. Josie Diane Wilson, cum laude. Caden Elizabeth Wilson. Joseph Lassiter Witz. Jordan Omar Worrell, cum laude. Liberty Beth Wright, cum laude. Felicia Catherine Xavier, cum laude. Brandon Zhang. Ashton Taylor Yandel, magna cum laude. Trenton Stephen York, magna cum laude. Bryant Scott. Young. Timothy Andrew O'Brien Young. Savannah Esim Yunt. Man, are you a popular dude? <laughs> Zaliket. Evan Chase Zaliket.
will the class of 2022 please rise. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wingate University, and in recognition of your completion of all requirements for your degree, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Liberal Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities faculty, family, and friends, the class of 2022. You may signify your graduation by turning your tassel from the right to the left. Thank you for the reminder, Inesu. Please join our graduates by standing as you are able for the benediction and remain standing for the recessional. Dr. Cully. Please pray with me as we conclude this morning. We give thanks to Almighty God for each student who graduates this morning. We give thanks for all the strength and endurance as you pressed on to earn your degree through the stresses of a global pandemic and many other challenges, great and small. We give thanks for every parent, family member, teacher, counselor, professor, advisor, coach, and mentor who has offered support and encouragement to help you reach this goal. In the months and years to come, may God bless you with wisdom to understand that learning is not a process which ends on this day with the completion of your degree, but a lifelong challenge. May you be empowered to go forward with curious and agile minds, capable of always asking new questions, solving new problems, overcoming new challenges in an ever-changing world. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your lives and the manner in which you live them be a gift to the world and may the spirit of God be with you always.